Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I've got a CCNP switch video practice exam and lab for you, a little bit different than what we've done before. This one's called Switch Security Discussions, and I'm going to have four questions up on the board for you in about 10 seconds. They're a little more like job interview questions. I think you'll enjoy these. It's another good angle to take before you hit the real thing. So let's go ahead and hit the real thing right now with question one. Let me move that up a little bit here. And I've got four questions for you. I know you can only see three right now, but I'll have the fourth one up in a second. First, is it better to have DTP running or not running if you want to prevent VLAN hopping? You should know a good second way to prevent VLAN hopping as well. That's your bonus question for the day. Second, you've configured port security, but you failed to specify how many secure MAC addresses should be allowed, nor what those addresses would be. By default then, how many will be allowed, and how will that secure address or addresses be determined? Third question of the following, which would result from a port being shut down as a result of a port security violation? Would you see root disabled, loop inconsistent, error disabled, or violate disabled? And then finally, what security feature might result in a port being placed into root inconsistent state? So we'll get to the answers to all of those in just a few seconds. I want to thank you, first of all, for all your great support of all my Udemy video boot camps. And right now I'm thanking the community with a $44 special on all my video boot camps, my paid ones. All you've got to do for the Switch course is go out, and I apologize for the URL in advance, CCNP Switch Video Boot Camp with those dreaded dashes. And all you've got to do is click Redeem It and put in Bulldog59, click Apply, and you are in for $44. I've also got a URL here where you can see all of the paid and free content. And I've got hours of free content out there for you. And even every paid course has at least one hour of samples for you to watch. I don't believe in three-minute samples. Uh, just go to udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. That's it. So let's talk about that first question. First off, dynamic trunking protocol. You definitely want to turn that off if you're concerned about VLAN hopping. And another great trick that I've used many times is to put all of your unused ports into a separate VLAN that nobody else is using except those unused ports. It's a very effective way to stop VLAN hopping. Now when you configure port security, but you fail to specify how many addresses should be allowed, and first off, it's easy to think, well, can you really even do that? And actually you can, because if we use switch port port security here, and use iOS help, you know, we've got these options for aging and secure MAC address and maximum secure addresses and what violation mode you want to use. But we also have the CR there. So you could just do that and just walk away. But if you don't specify how many addresses are secure, then you're going to have one. It's not zero, it's one. And how would the secure address be determined? By the source MAC address of the first frames to come in. So that's it. So you might go into a client site one day and just see switch port port security, nothing else. And that's what's going on. One secure address. And it was the first secure MAC address to lay claim to the port, if you will. Now, which of these would you see as a result of a port security violation? If the port is shut down due to port security, it's going to be error disabled. And you're going to have to manually re-enable it. Uh, and then finally, the fourth question here, and I've got another video I want you to watch here on YouTube if you're watching it there. Um, what security feature might result in a port being placed into root inconsistent state? That is indeed root guard. You've got to be really clear on these different names or different things that can happen to ports. We've got root inconsistent, loop inconsistent, error disabled, and I've got another video on YouTube actually called Root Guard and the Inconsistent Ports. It's a 10 minute video and it actually shows all that going on. It's a great lab, so be sure to check that out. And thanks for taking today's video practice exam. I surely appreciate it. And thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.